Years after the raid on Macon, we're heading up an all-out assault on Peleliu Island. No POWs to rescue this time. Our mission? Take the airfield and cripple their supply network. Alongside familiar faces, fresh-faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself. We're known as the old breed. Holmes, we're not even out of our 20s. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. We are continuing the Call of Duty World at War campaign here with the assault on Peleliu. A little bit different. There's no ray gun to be found on the left side of the beach uh, with some like hidden voodoo magic. And we also seem to have control of two APCs or two LTVs armed with Stuart turrets. We also have a squad at our disposal, however, obviously if we lose one of the major characters, the main characters of the game, we do lose the mission just like last time. Granted that we're probably going to use our little APCs to take the brunt of the assault. Later on, we'll actually have access to the Rocket Strike, Colin. Uh, if you recall from the game, there's actually an ability you get. Sadly enough, in here they only give you two uses. In the game, they give you an limited amount of uses. You basically have to call in a bunch of rockets from uh, offshore ships. As you can see, though, we're going to try and figure out a way through the uh, defenses. There is quite a few hidden bunkers with a T gun set up, even a couple of mortars back here. Seems to be signs to not go through the right side. So maybe we'll send one of our tanks to go first. In the meantime, well, I say tank, it's barely a tank. It's got 38 millimeters of armor. Well, I guess technically speaking, considering the Japanese have normally no armor on their tanks, we have a little bit more armor than they do on their average vehicles. Now, hopefully we can get up on the ridge. That was very hard to get over that little ridge. Not a lot of power behind this thing. Let's push through here. Make sure that all our guys can see we have Roebuck, Polanski, I'm gonna keep the main characters in the same squad so we know which one's not to send forward. Sullivan. All right, let's switch these two around so we have the uh, the main unit and then the sort of like secondary unit so we can actually more or less push these guys forward. It looks like we're getting hit by those mortars in the back or something is hitting us hard. Trying to hit the bunkers with the machine guns in it. Ooh, there we go. We might have been eliminated by my uh, Stuart mounted LTV. LTV landing tank vehicle, or am I just misremembering this right now? Oh, <laughs> definitely didn't just kill that friendly uh, AI who was standing there. Oh, let you side in this trench, and come on. I really like this mission because I believe this is the one where they, oh my god, where they had the um, Japanese in the trees, and it made you like really worry about every single at least it made me worry about every single tree i saw during the rest of that campaign whenever i played the pacific campaign every time i saw trees and there was quite a lot of them i would freak out and be a little bit afraid of you know what might be hiding in them it looks like i hit one of these posts posts are indestructible looks like we'll just have to drive through maybe there's mines here maybe there's not we'll have to find out the hard way there's that large at gun up here which we have no range on. Still maybe 90 meters might be the range. Ooh, that was not. Ooh, it's firing. This is a battle of who shoots each other first. We've missed once. They've not hit us. It looks like we might be just in cover. Missing it again. Try to get a shell like directly in there. It looks like they're hitting the ground in front of them. And there we go. We took out the 90 mil. Now, which is the squad? Okay, we have the left side is the, well, not main characters uh, team so we'll send those guys forward the mortars are absolutely horrendously hitting the guys here we lost a lot of our friendly marines who were landing with us oh why would you stop right there get off the freaking tank uh we lost one of our guys there right on the vehicle they took those mortars like basically on top of their head not sure how we are going to get to those mortars these guys all need to heal up anyway let's make them all heal up and uh, we'll keep the the main squad back here as you can see those mortars are kind of going ham let's push up i believe we did take down that 90 mil and there might not be any other heavy at oh what's that what's that what's that wait 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 
Oh no. Oh, nobody survived in that. We do have rockets to call in. All right, let's call the rockets in on these tanks. Hopefully it does its job. Oh, we lost both the vehicles. That, those rockets are coming in really late. Oh, those are coming in way too late. Oh, we are sort of hitting them in position. Oh, we made one of them dismount. So decent rocket strike, taking down at least one of those three Chihads, but there are still two left. They do look a little haggard. I mean, again, Chinese, or Chinese tanks, I don't know why I'm saying Chinese tanks, because I guess the name is Chiha. It's like one, one letter away from China. Uh, but we have to figure out a way to deal with them. We have one more rocket strike available to us. Most likely we'll try and attempt to hit this because they do have a nice bunker set up here with uh, both angles covered on the left and right side. Do we have any AT grenade? That's going to be the main question. I don't know if we are going to have any questions. Or AT grenades. What's the, is there a button for that? Why is it suddenly gone? It should be right there. I don't know why it was gone. That's weird. Oh no! Oh, Men of War AI never change. Well, uh, the Japanese have managed to take out one of their own tanks. I guess that's good for us. We do still have our TNT available to us on this heroic tank uh, commander. I guess he can be a tank commander if we want to. He's just a nice rich tank crew, but he's just been promoted to tank commander, uh, which means he's gotten a field promotion from Lance Corporal to, uh, I think Sergeant would be the rank of a tank commander. Looks like this other Chiha is stuck. Kind of lucky for us. Is there those bombs back here? Oh, it's a plane that crashed. I was wondering why there was just bombs on the ground. Our other rocket strike is ready. We'll hit the... Oh, the mortars have been demolished. That might have been the rocket strike. Let's hit this bunker area here on the left. I believe we have the uh, off-coast. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We have the uh, off-the-coast rocket strike ready. Let's see here. And rockets away. Hopefully one of them hits the bunker system. Looks like both those machine guns are eliminated. It, now we have to figure out a way to deal with that last Chiha who is turning around. Our <laughs> Marines are sort of uh, retreating a little bit. Uh, They're a little bit afraid. And I mean, there's not necessarily no reason to be afraid. Uh, yes, sir. I'm trying to think, we could probably sneak a guy all the way up to it with TNT. And by sneak up, I mean sprint up. Because I mean, this guy wants to get the Medal of Honor, right? So. Currently, Chia's not looking. It's not looking. There's like a single guy shooting at him with a rifle. Oh boy. We managed to get just in front of the Chiha. Now we have to cook. I thought we had to cook it, but I was stuck on the thing. We have to recook it, recook it, recook it. The main squad is in danger. Oh no. That was might a little bit too far. No, we should get it. Okay, we did get it. Oh wow. That was some heroic. Savior stuff. Oh, no, no. Open fire. Take him out. What are you doing? Okay. Whew, we barely let the, almost let the tank manor get away. That looks to be another tank. Come on. Oh, there we go. That point forty five ACP really doing its job. Let's stick around the left side. There is mine signs around here, and we just don't know for sure of the uh, light a tank thing. Maybe it didn't trigger it because it is like, I don't know. Let's not risk it, right? Let's not risk it for the biscuit. Can we get these mines or these? Uh, I was hoping. It would be really awesome if we could pick up these rockets or bombs and like actually use them. Hmm. There is still a few guys left alive. I obviously am not trying to lose the main characters right here, right now. That grenade's going to go nowhere. There's an enemy like right behind this bunker. We'll pop a grenade right here. Run around. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh, a little bit on the awkward angle there. They're running like straight into their fire. I uh, wish my... Okay, let's get, send our tank uh, crew man forward who's now... Okay, never mind. You can clear the bunker. You can clear the final bunker. There must be... Oh, there's one enemy like right here at the entrance of it. Uh, let's grab a... Do we have any hand bombs in here? Ooh, we do. Japanese hand bombs are so awesome because you can actually cook them. But they are basically a giant AT grenade. Like, watch this. There we go. Awesome work. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, no.
It's that scene from, um, oh, did it bug out? Oh, hello? In, in World at War, one of the main characters opens a door and a Japanese guy comes out and you can save him or you can like, I guess not save him. Um, sir, <laughs> he's not dying. Okay, well, it looks like we have reached, it looks like we have reached an issue here where uh, we found somebody that should have died in the cutscene, but look, it's Men of War, right? And Men of War doesn't always work out the way it should. Roebuck, you're an idiot. You should have killed, you should have killed that guy. Man, you got your friend killed. Uh, a bit of an anticlimactic ending here, as you can see with uh, Assault Squad 2 really bugging out here on this guy. With that being done, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a short mission. But these missions are of very high quality and it's always awesome to see different games, you know, Company of Heroes, Medal of Honor, in this case, Call of Duty, sort of retold through Assault Squad 2. We'll check out the other missions in here soon. If not, you guys enjoyed it. It's awesome. Cheers.